In this video, we will see how to use insert options, help text, icon and branch templates. Welcome to my channel, my Sitecore Diaries. I am Chitendra Dhanikar. I am Sitecore Architect from Mumbai. If you like my videos, please click on like button. Please share these videos with your friends. Please comment on the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icons to get a notification. So let's start with the today's topic. Today we will be seeing insert options, help text, icons and branch templates. So insert option, help text and icon. Insert options. Only developers and administrator can create items of any type anywhere in the content. So if you want to create any item, you have to select a template for that you there you, for a live website or a regular or a or a live web in a live website you might have a lot of lot of templates and which template we need to select it might be confusing and it uh, and content editor also may not have the rights to select any of the uh, item any of the item okay so there might be some restriction of the access also so to avoid that we use the insert options what does insert option do? Insert option allows you to select a child item. So like you have a folder, like say article list folder. Inside that you want to add only the articles. Okay. So what insert option will do that it when you right click, it will give you that option that these are the templates you can use, like article template you can use for the add the uh, the the item inside that folder. Okay, so it allows child item. It reduces the risk of human error as in front only we are giving the uh, the option to the content editor which which template you need to select. Allows author to build content tree. It can be overridden at the item level. So even though you have you are given the option at the at the template level, it can be overridden at the item level. And but best practices to add that the standard values. Okay, now we will see help text. Help texts are added to guide authors while updating the content. So we will have a lot of a uh, lot of templates, and inside the template we will have a, a lot of fields. So which field is used for what purpose? Okay, if then I am the content editor, and you have created the, the template. How will I know that what does is what what is the use of this field? So in that case, we can use a help text. Help text provide you three uh, fields. First is the help link. Help link is a basically a basically is a link. Okay, of any other page. Okay, so there might be a case that you can explain something about that field and have a created some a repository or some URL where you, it, it, the, the description is given. Then you can use a help link. Long description is used to as a tooltip. So when you hover the uh, field, it will be a long description. So for that, you can use a tooltip. Short description is basically uh, in front of the field only, it will tell you what it is. Okay then icons okay uh, so icon is something basic uh, something which is help uh, until editor to understand the uh, the uh, template uh, visually okay so you can basically give the icon to the uh, template you can give the icon to the section field so okay so these icons will help uh, your authors to visually understand content okay uh, and also it will, it will it will you will know that which uh, if there is a multiple of item what uh, what template it is using i mean all the template which is using the same template all the items which are created with the same template will have the same icon we'll do one thing we will see uh, how does it looks like insert option it takes an icons in the site core in site core content tree i have created one template okay for uh, i named it as an insert option and i have the uh, have a section as a data i will please name and id in that Okay. To create an insert option, first of all, we will create the standard value. So, for creating a standard value, you have to go to the builder option, standard values, okay, for the insert option table. Then, uh, uh, it will create the standard values, okay. Um, then, you have to go to the configure. So, select the standard value, go to the configure. And then, you have an option here, insert option. If you see uh, here, there you can click on the assign then 
Once you click on the assign, it will open the uh, this dialog box. Okay, from where you can select which insert option you want to apply. So I have selected uh, template B and template A as a insert option for the uh, insert option demo. Okay, so once uh, that is done, I'm creating the items. If I have created an item here, insert option from the template insert option demo, test item is my uh, template name. Sorry, item name. Okay. If you created that item and if you right click it test item if you right click and you go to the insert you will see here template and template p are coming is also along with the insert from template so instead of going to insert from template and selecting a template i can directly use any of this template and create an item so this is called as a insert option now let's see help text okay so i have a template a created here okay and it has a first name as a field okay in the data section now i want to create a help text so what i have to do is i have to go to the configure okay then in the configure section you will see here a help okay so you have to select the help once you select the help you will find this dialog box okay where a dialog box will open will help text okay where you have the three fields one is a short description which will be displayed for the tool tip long description and help okay so short description long description and help okay you can insert a data like i have inserted like short description of the first name long description of the first name i have given my blog my blog link here at link okay you click on okay and save it then if you go and create a template of that item new template i have created if you see the field here you see the uh, short uh, description here short description of a first name if you see here long description of first name so long description will come as a tooltip and short uh, description will come with slash uh hyphen uh, short description of first name so for your field name hyphen short description of uh, whatever you are given okay of that field and then long description will be too deep that is if you over it you will see that and if it is a clickable if you see underline if it is clickable so if you click it whatever the link which is given it will it will redirect to that uh, you are uh, that url that page and you can read whatever the content you want to give to to whatever you have given the description what that uh, that uh, field is there that uh, that user content editor can read so it will help user for uh, understanding what is the field and why it, uh, it is used okay so this is help text now let's see icons okay it's a very straightforward icons so if i create a template a okay so by default you see there is no icon see, this is the icon okay so if i want to assign an icon then i have to again go to the configure and on on top of a help only you have an icon field okay that drop down is there so if you select that drop down you will get this kind of a uh, dialog box where you will see recently use icon on top and then you can select any other tab icon. so if you click on more icon the more icon will open and then you can select the icons from it okay and once you applied i have applied a star uh, uh, icon so once i applied you will see uh, against that uh, uh template uh, this star icon is applied okay so whatever template uh, items i will create with the template all will have a same icon okay and if you if you properly use this icon then from seeing the content itself user can understand which template item is using what template has a watch which child item so it is very easy to understand so this is what the icons are branch template so branch template enables user to create multiple items using the reusable predefined structure so you basically define your uh, structure uh, contain tree a small contain tree which you can create with the multiple items and it enables user to use reuse that uh, uh, that one and create a multiple uh, i mean you can create uh, the items in the contain tree okay so it, in template you create only a single item but branch template you will have a multiple items created okay so how it works when a user chooses a branch template from the insert option so you can give branch template as insert option then site could duplicate the item beneath the branch template. so whatever branch template you have created in below that branch template, whatever items are there that get uh, duplicated so that template definition it use if it has any tokens it replace that token 
okay so including field values the, then performs a token substitution and item name and the field values you can assign branch templates along with the data templates and command templates so uh, basic use is you, you want a predefined content tree okay uh, so you have a specific content tree where you have a uh, say article template inside that you might have a folder some folder media folder uh, you might have some another folder with a pdf something like that and you want to duplicate those things then you can do that okay when to use it when you have a multi you want to insert a multiple option then you can use it assign access right to the inserted at items Control which accounts can insert item using the branch template. Provide a contain authors with the ability to create a multiple item at once. Copy initial field values into a created item. Okay. So basically, if you see overall, the branch template is used when you have a multiple item. So uh, you you want to define something, some contain tree, okay, uh, which can be reusable. Then you 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 can create a branch template. So let's see uh, how the branch template looks like in site code. So in the site code, you have a, a template section. In that template section itself, you have a branches. Okay. In the branches, if you right click, uh, you insert, you have will have a new branch. Okay. Once you create the new branch. Okay. So I have created the branch here. Okay, articles where I have created the folder global. I created two field. I used two template. Okay, if you see here, name, a local name, and then I have created one more item here. So all this template I created this kind of a structure. Global folder I have, local folder I have, main and the global folder I have one template. Local folder I have one template. Okay, so this is how I have created the branch template. Now in the content tree, okay. Um, uh once uh, uh you you want to um, what is it you want to create the item from the branch template so similarly you goes and you create a, a item insert from template and you instead of selecting a template i select a branch template here so i selected a branch template from branches branch folder articles okay and i am giving the name as a article list okay so once i does that you see here then in the content tree if you see here it automatically creates a folder structure with the with the name which i have given in the uh, branch template as a global folder first there is an article list as i have given the token as a dollar name it automatically pick the name of the item so article list then you have another here here also i give dollar name in the local and then there is a template main okay so this is how it is automatically created I and mean, once uh, in template you have only single item in rank template you have the multiple items any question you can email me on my email address this is my linkedin id you can contact to me at my linkedin if you like my uh, uh, video then please click on like button please share it with your friends uh, if you have any feedback please comment on it Please subscribe to my channel, uh, click on the bell icon to get the latest uh, update or latest videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.